I'm Professor Deborah Roberts, and I'm standing for election to be chair of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. I'm a scientist specializing in climate change adaptation, mitigation, biodiversity, resilience, and sustainable development. Over the last 30 years, I've combined the scientific expertise with work on the front line of climate policy making and practice. That's why I'm stepping forward as a candidate to lead the IPCC in the seventh assessment cycle. In this decade of action, the key challenge we face is implementation, and the IPCC chair needs the experience to match. I know what it's like to deal with climate change in practice. I've established the largest urban reforestation projects in South Africa, set up the first sustainability and resilience function in the city of Durban, been a United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change negotiator, and served as co-chair of the IPCC's Working Group 2, where I co-led our work to assess the world's vulnerability to climate change impacts and our potential to adapt. That experience has made me a natural bridge builder across disciplines, sectors and regions. If elected, I would be the first woman and the first person from Africa to lead the IPCC. I live and work in South Africa, a country with a mix of relatively advanced infrastructure and pressing development needs. It means I understand the challenges faced by governments across the world. As the only IPCC chair candidate from Africa, I see firsthand how climate change worsens existing problems like food and water security. And I know that we can't lose sight of critical sustainable development needs as we look to increase our climate change ambition. I have three priorities for the IPCC. First, I want to secure a more equitable and inclusive foundation for the IPCC. I've learned that the best outcomes come from working together, prioritizing equity and shared responsibility. I want to make the work of the three working groups, the Task Force on National Greenhouse Gas Infantries and Task Group on Data Support for Climate Change Assessments, even more integrated. I want to build stronger links with other global assessment programs and ensure better regional gender and generational representation. Second, I want to maintain and enhance the IPCC's gold standard scientific leadership. I want our work to harness emerging technologies to help us draw on the most comprehensive set of evidence and to protect our core values, staying independent of politics and ensuring strong scientific integrity. Third, our work must be ever more useful to decision makers. In this decade, governments face challenging decisions. I want the IPCC to provide them with clear, feasible and effective options and regional evidence to support action backed up by first-class science. We are already a third of the way through the decade of implementation. Every day, policymakers make decisions that will determine the future of our planet. It is the IPCC's role to provide the scientific evidence they rely on. And it's up to the chair to provide leadership informed by expertise in science and implementation. I've spent the last 30 years bringing science, policy and practice together. That makes me uniquely placed to lead the IPCC in its seventh assessment cycle. Thank you for considering me as chair.